Hello everyone. This is just a small video. It's like a love letter to music. And it's also an announcement that my new album is out, which I'm super excited about. And yeah, I just want to notify everyone that it's out now. There's a link in the description. But yeah, in this video, I'm just going to talk about music and the way it's inspired me over the past few years. And, um, and yeah, if you're into that, um, you can stick around. I also put one of the tracks or maybe multiple, depending on how long this video is, uh, multiple tracks of my new album. So yeah, I've actually used some of the tracks in my fight stick video as well. And people have been asking me when the music comes out. So yeah, it's out now. It's a bit weird for me to talk about it on this channel here because I normally make videos about gaming or craftsman stuff. But making music has actually been my longest standing passion for many years. And it gets me through the worst times. And it supports me in the best. And I'm talking about both listening and also creating. Creating music is like a meditation for me. Sometimes I don't feel like making music but I just open up the program and play some notes and then I get sucked into this creative flow where I suddenly wake up four hours later and it's 1 a.m. and I've just been working on this track non-stop without even thinking about it and then I realized that I was completely gone like somewhere else and yeah it, it really reminds me of meditating Many times I try to meditate and I just sit there and think and yeah, you know, put a timer on 10 minutes and then realize that uh, basically I haven't been meditating because when you get into this meditative state, you, you just know how it feels. I would say it's a very similar feeling to making music because you're just in the moment and you're not getting caught up on something. You don't judge, you're just here. Whenever I'm outside, riding the train or just seeing the world around me, I have these feelings of gratitude and joy. And that's really in very insignificant moments, you know, when I see a tree that's moving or maybe I see people walking around, it's, it's not like I'm talking about like special moments. But yeah, I, I just have this feeling in me that I want to communicate how I feel and share with the world what I want to say. Especially because listening to music gives me so much understanding and uh, it inspires me to do the same thing. And yeah, when, when, I, when I learn something from music i also want to give other others the opportunity to see my perspective and i'm not even talking about lyrics or anything just the way instruments are being played or how rhythms are syncopated or the way the music is produced maybe it shows an attitude that can be inspiring there's so much information and intent that can be in instrumental music that doesn't need words for you to understand what the artist is trying to communicate. In fact, the lack of words help me to interpret the music in my own way without someone telling me what to think. It makes it more ambiguous and therefore it gives me a sense of freedom. Sometimes, of course, there are very clear hints of what the artist is trying to communicate. Maybe it's a sound or a word someone said that leads you into a direction and gives you an image or an atmosphere. It's really fun for me to listen to music like this and imagine this world that the artist was trying to present. But I also love making music like that and building these worlds. It's just fun for me. It's it's like a riddle. How can I express this thing that I have inside me? I feel like I learn something new about music almost every day. 
it's also so varied. There are just so many genres and musicians that I haven't explored fully yet. Probably some I don't even know of. For example, some, some days ago I listened to Vietnamese funk music for the first time. And I'm reading about it and it has so much political and historical meaning. I can't even begin to imagine how much I can still learn about these new genres that I don't even know of. And I really want to learn about it. I think it's truly the thing I care about the most. And whenever I spend time doing something that has to do with music or sound, I never feel like I'm wasting my time, which is a great feeling to have, to not feel like you're wasting your time. I'm sorry if this turned into a public therapy session, but I don't know, maybe you can find something in this video that you can relate to or that inspires you. And if not, maybe the music I made is actually better at communicating some of these thoughts instead of me talking about it. I think there are some things you can speak out loud. The feeling of love or purpose or despair and depression. Some of these concepts are too big and these words are just too small and limited to express how that really feels like. Or at least I'm not particularly a poet. Um, I find it much easier to express myself with instrument and instrumental music. But yeah, I've of course also met artists who use their pencil to express their feelings or dancers who move their body to express themselves. There's so many ways to be creative and passionate about something. I don't know, like food, for example, you can make a creative dish and just express yourself with making food or comedy, making people laugh. That's an art form and um, it's a way to be creative and express yourself. And yeah, speaking of comedy, that's also something I learned over the past few years actually. And it's one of the reasons why I reactivated this YouTube channel. Not because I'm so funny, but um, I just found joy in video games again. And I think I was going through a period where, yeah, I've just been taking things too serious and just didn't have fun. And I feel like that's also a period that a few people go through. And I think music really helped me to find joy in my life again. But also, yeah, stuff like comedy, like Marc Rebillet, for example, or video games. Finding joy in games like Minecraft or TF2 that seemed like only a few years ago, like super dull to me. And I didn't find any joy in it. And... While I absolutely love this album that I made, it's also more on the serious kind of note. And um, I already know that this next one is going to be more of a lighthearted, less committed and polished album. Um, yeah, I actually already have quite a lot of tracks ready that I made over the past few years. But yeah, that's going to come out a bit later. For now, I'm just excited to finally share reconnecting with you guys. I really feel like I had something to say on this album and yeah, I don't know, just give it a chance. I've been playing some of the tracks in the background of this video, so if you like what you hear, you know where to look. Anyway, I'm off for now. I'm still streaming on Twitch quite regularly, um, usually a few times a week, so if you want to come by and say hi. Um, there's also a link in the description. Um, what else is there to say? Uh, don't forget to smile. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye bye. So. Gut. Also, ich weiß nicht, wo der Komposter da ist. Wir sind hier. Aber ich pflanze jetzt mal ins Tapping. Und dann sollte sich da hoffentlich eine Tür öffnen, wenn ich hier Bam 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 mache. Hä? Oh mein Gott. Hä? Das, das geht gar nicht. Das ist impossible. Okay.
crazy. Krank. Das ist wirklich ein Jump Run. 